The enduring assets of a laboratory's work are the records that document those activities. When laboratory records are used to support a regulatory function, they are considered to be legal documents. For records to be considered reliable and trustworthy, they must comply with the principles of ALCOA. Attributable. Who made the record or created the data and when? Legible. They must be able to be read and understood for the lifetime of the record without having to refer to the originator for clarification. The information may be needed in 5, 10, or 20 years' time, perhaps after the originator is no longer available. Contemporaneous. The record must be made at the time the activity was performed. Original. Earliest record of the data could be a written observation, printout, or electronic file, or a certified copy thereof. The information must not be written on a post-it, piece of scrap paper, sleeve of a lab coat, etc., and then transcribed or saved in a temporary location. Accurate. No errors or editing without documented changes. Attributable. Attributable. The identity of the person or persons creating a record should be documented. For paper records, this is normally done by the individuals signing and dating the record with their signature. What each person wrote or did should be clear. As the record you may be signing may be a legal document, you should clearly understand the implication of your signature. A signature should be individual to a specific individual, and the practice of signing someone else's name or initials is fraud and is taken very seriously. Legible. A record that cannot be read or understood has no value and might as well not exist. All records should be composed so they conform to grammatical convention, which should be consistent throughout. It is best to avoid buzzwords, cliches, and slang, as these are prone to change with time and are often not understood outside a particular locality. A record should be reviewed by a second person, which can often highlight any ambiguities. Contemporaneous all records must be made at the time an activity takes place. Delaying writing up, for example, until the end of the day, is not allowed. Original. All records must be original. Information must be recorded directly onto the document. This avoids the potential of introducing errors in transcribing information between documents. A static record such as a paper printout from a balance or a static image created during the data acquisition, can be considered an original record. A record that allows interaction between the user and the record content is a dynamic record, and the electronic file is considered the original. Examples of a dynamic record include chromatographic data file, which allows processing to change the baseline, or a spectral data file, which allows changes in the displayed output. Accurate. The record must reflect what actually happened. Any changes should be made without obscuring or obliterating the original information. The use of whiteout or correction fluid is prohibited. Any changes made to a record should be signed by the person making the change and dated to show when it was made and include a written explanation. Remember, the record may be needed after you have left the company and cannot be contacted for clarification.